Newgrange, the best known Irish passage tomb, is surrounded by a curb of 97 stones. The most impressive of these curb stones is the highly decorated entrance stone. Many years ago, the people entering the tomb would climb over the entrance stone as a part of the ritual on entering the passage. We can see the entrance stone has many carvings, mainly spirals and lozenges. We do not know what these symbolize, we can only speculate. The tri-spiral are three interconnected spirals unique to Newgrange. Directly opposite the entrance stone at the back of the mound is curbstone 52. This again is another highly decorated curbstone. Newgrange was excavated between 1962 and 1975 by Professor M. J. O'Kelly, who discovered the roof box through which the midwinter sun penetrates into the chamber. The three passage graves, Newgrange, Nouth and Douth, are located beside one another. The three of them are very close to the River Boyne. This plan of Newgrange shows the entrance of the passage is in a southeasterly direction so that the sun can penetrate into the chamber. Large chisel stones to which the name basin stone is given occupy the floors of the recesses. There are four at Newgrange, one in the west recess, a broken incomplete one in the north recess and two in the east recess, one standing inside the other. This is the central chamber above which is the corbel roof. On the left hand side we can see a tri-spiral unique to Newgrange. This is the corbel roof looking upwards. For 17 minutes at sunrise on the shortest day of the year, direct sunlight can enter Newgrange. Not through the doorway, but through the specifically contrived narrow slit which lies under the roof box at the outer end of the passage roof. The angular relationships involved are such that it seems unlikely that this is due to chance. Observations have shown that direct sunlight penetrates to the chamber for a week before and a week after the solstice, but not as fully on the few days centering on the 21st of December, the winter solstice.